Hello friends, welcome back. Um, today we're going to combine an array into a string using the join method. The join method is used to join the elements of an array together to create a string. It takes an argument from a delimiter that is used to separate the array elements in the string. Here's an example. So we've got an array which is equal to hello world and then we've set, created a new variable called string which is equal to the array joined and we place a space in there which creates hello world and it adds the space in there. So we want to use join method amongst others inside the centis, cent, cent, centifi, centifici, sentensify, sentensify function to make a sentence, oh, sentensify function to make a sentence from the word, words in the string, the string. Uh, the function should return a string. For example, I like Star Wars would be converted into I like Star Wars. For this challenge, do not use the replace method. So they're saying there, there's probably a better way to do this called replace method, but we can look into that later. Um, so what do we want to do? Your code should use the join should use the join message. Your code should not use the replace method. Sensif sentensify, may the force be with you, should return a string. It should return that string. So what we could do is say, um, we can say the, um, well, let's uh, let the, um, the, how would I say it? The bis, the, the, um, dissected, the dissected, um, result is equal to string dot split. And we can do the split based on this. Now, if I were to console dot log the dissected result, you're going to see that we have an array with these. And so now what we need to do is join them. So we should say let the uh, joined result equal the uh, dissected result dot uh, join. And if I just called join, I think it would, oh, I think you need to place something in there. If we joined it, uh, dot split dot join, we need to add a space in there. Oh, yeah. We, okay, before we add the space in there, now we want to console.log the joined result. And so you'll see that'll pop up down here. Now this isn't right, right? We want it to look like the force is with you. And the, this one says, uh, may the force be with you with no spaces in there. So what do we want to do? We want to join it using a space. And then we go. And then so senten sentensify, there has been an awkward, an awakening should return there has been an awakening okay so this we're not going to pass right if we were to pass this string into here it wouldn't work because we are uh, dividing the string based on forward dashes and rather this one is saying that we need to divide the string uh, it needs to also function with commas and so what we can do is do the split based on the regular expression with the um, with the forward slash w, which is, I'm pretty sure it's non-alphanumeric characters. So it's not any lowercase a, uppercase a, b, c, d, any of those. And then so it um, that um, splits the array based on anything. So even with this one, with the periods, it's splitting the thing and then um, putting it back together with spaces. And so that should work. And so, yeah, you can see that, the, uh, that we're getting the right results if we were to run uh, sentensify on uh, this one. The force is strong with you, this one. The force is strong with this one. So that's right. And so I'm confident that this will pass the test. Interesting, they didn't pass. Should return a string. Oh, okay, so here's what's happening. I'm console logging everything, but we're not returning anything. This sentensify thing actually doesn't return anything. So we need to return the joined result. And then, yeah, we can comment out our console logs here and then finally just console.log the sentensify. And now you'll see that we're actually going to get that. Now, before we returned the joined result, if we console logged it out, we were getting undefined. So we needed to return the joined result. And so now we have the thing. Now it seems to be working. I bet if we run the test, it'll pass now. And so, yeah, I think that's uh, it. Now, if we were, let's console log these out real quick just to play with this. 
let's say that we just wanted to go faster. We, could we return the string dot split at uh, non-alphanumeric characters dot uh, join with spaces? Now, would this work? Okay, cool. So we could actually do this in a single line. Um, and I don't think the string, let's see, um, global string. We'll set the global string here. What I'm curious about is whether or not this mutates the global string. Cool, so this actually is split and join uh, making copies. So we're not, we don't have to worry about mutating the string that's being passed in. So this uh, works well with the, um, it works well with the lessons that we've been learning through functional programming. Anyways, I just kind of wanted to go a little bit more in depth on that. Hope you guys found this useful and we'll see you in the next lesson.